Welcome to EduCounting, where we're passionate about financial education. Today's video is on the accounting recording process. Accounting identifies transactions, records them, and communicates the data through financial reports to internal and external users. When financial data is communicated, it has to be consolidated into meaningful, readable information for those needing it. The chart of accounts is the map for financial information. The account numbers align with the accounting equation, giving you the direction where entries should go. Debits must always equal credits. There's general guidelines where accounts tend to have either a debit balance or credit balance. The mnemonic deal is one way to remember the debit balance accounts, dividends, expenses, assets, and losses. The mnemonic girls represents those accounts normally with a credit balance, gains, income, revenue, liabilities, and stockholders equity. After you have identified that an entry has to be made, you need to journalize it and get it into your accounting system. This is the journal entry. The journal entry is first and is very detailed. It has a date, amounts, at least two accounts that were affected, and the explanation. The ledger consolidates the journal entries and shows all the transactions for each account over a period of time with additions, subtractions, and an ending balance. The trial balance shows only the ending balances by name no account numbers, and it's the start of producing the financial statements. As we'll find out, the adjusted trial balance is what is produced after adjustments are made in order to follow the accounting rules. We'll cover this later. Each step has its role. Understanding the components helps with finding errors, ensuring accuracy, and producing great financial statements. Thanks for being here. Here's to making better decisions through better data and better education.